Hello everyone and welcome back to the S&P saga. This week we're hinting at a company unexpectedly impacted by the Nvidia rally. Do you already know about it? Let's dive right into it for the week ended on March 22nd, 2024. The S&P 500 closed the week at 5,234.18 cents, up 2.3% from last week. The PE ratio, based on current price and latest earnings, stands at 28.41, up 0.64 points since last week. Let's start with the gainers. Nvidia is up 161.3 billion or 7.3 percent after releasing its brand new Blackwell B200 GPU model. Alphabet is up 119.4 billion or 6.8 percent after it announced a potential deal with Apple involving Gemini and Siri. Microsoft is up 91.5 billion or 3 percent after it announced AI powered PCs, a deal with Nvidia for early access to GPUs discussed earlier, and an investment in inflection AI. Meta is up 65 billion or 5.3% as the company confirmed the timeline of taking delivery of the new Nvidia GPUs. Broadcom is up 54.7 billion or 9.5% as the company got multiple upgrades from Wall Street analysts. Moving to the losers now, Accenture is down 24.8 billion or 9.9% after posting a disappointing forecast for the year 2024. AMD is down 19.4 billion or 6% as rival Nvidia announced its brand new Blackwell B200 GPUs. Nike is down 8.8 billion or 5.8% as the company talked about threats against its running shoes market share on the last earnings call. Lululemon is down 7.5 billion or 13.3% after the company posted a slower than expected sales outlook for the next quarter. Finally, Johnson & Johnson is down 6.8 billion or 1.8% on no particular news. It should be noted that the company entered into a new partnership with Nvidia. This will be an interesting catalyst to follow for next week. Additionally, this week there were no changes to the index, but Supermicro and Decker have joined the index at Market Open on Monday. So how do you use the information we just covered? This week, five companies will release earnings during the week ending March 29th, 2024, but I don't expect any of them to have a significant impact on the evolution of the S&P 500. To find out why Microsoft and Google stock increased last week, you should watch this video next.